<laughs> All right, let's get into the video. <laughs> Vinegar I got from the farmer's market. Hi, and welcome back. So I am going to actually walk you through what you need to do to welcome to New York. Give me a second. <laughs> Is it just me or when you hear a siren you pray and hope whoever they're gonna save is okay? Anyways, so I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how to do my budgeting meal prep ideas. Now this is for those that are looking to save money. This is for those that are looking to, you know, eat what you got because most of us have food. We don't know what to do with it. Most of us don't go in our fridges enough so that the food doesn't go bad. I'm kind of going to walk you through on what I do. Now this is my weekly reset. I do this on Mondays because I do not work on Mondays and during the weekend I do. So first things first is you're going to need a notepad. You can either use a notepad or you can use your cell phone on the notepad setting. Um, use what you got. I prefer to write it because I'm a visual person. So on this list you can write you know what I have which is what I usually do um, and then you're gonna go in the fridge you're gonna go in the cabinet you're gonna take everything out and I kind of walk you guys through that in my other video which I'll leave right here so you guys can kind of see a visual of like what I did so that's step one you want to get your tools together your handy dandy notebook and then you're gonna go in the fridge I'm gonna walk you through that because this is my reset 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 so let's go in the fridge and i'll show you what i got left and then i know i have kale it's frozen about that one kale frozen I have blueberries I have um, hemp seeds now my handwriting isn't the best so I like to go in my phone go to notes and then I open up a new note like that and I do and I like to do little dot thingies like that so I'll put kale frozen I'll do frozen blueberries did I know blueberries frozen I have hemp seeds I have coconut milk quinoa and you can do either or so you can pick whichever one works for you all right so let's go get the food have some cabbage which I'm probably gonna pickle another cabbage two apples some cooked quinoa peppers sweet potato apple some homemade balsamic vinaigrette cranberries and celery and this is all that I have left in the fridge and I think I have a few canned items let me go grab that all right so in regards to the canned stuff that I have in the fridge I have some pickled beets that I pickled with leftover vinegar I got from the farmers market I have some canned tomatoes that I canned a few years ago. I have some canned grape juice, which I'm gonna open soon because it's delicious. I also have some more tomato sauce I canned myself. And I also have some peach salsa. I grew the ingredients and I got the peaches from the farmer's market. So yeah, that's what else is in the fridge and what was on the table I entered a picture so you guys can see what's in the fridge and they'll show you everything else. So as I do this, when it's on the table, I do a voice note or 
I read it down. And you can categorize it if you're into that. Um, and then I'll show you what I do after I'm done um, doing all that. And then I'll show you the meals I made last week. This is the freezer. I have my... Where's my finger? <laughs> so this is the freezer, guys. I have my knish here. Some apples I froze. Some parsley I pre-chopped. The apples I meal prepped last week. Knishes. I have blueberries still. Some, but some squash I froze. Some tofu carrot celery blend. Some butternut squash like ravioli mixture. Some frozen kale. The onions I prepped and froze. Some bananas. The peppers and uh, grapes. I have a call from Italy. Let me answer that. <laughs> so this is what is in the cabinet. We have some coconut shreds, vegetable broth love, coconut teriyaki sauce, flaxseed, TVP, kelp noodles, rice noodles, some leftover ints from papaya, organic sushi roll nori, coconut flakes, some whole wheat local pastry flour, cassava, brown coconut sugar, vegan chocolate chips, oregano, kung pao sauce, maple syrup, local, butter beans, coconut, what was that, coconut condensed milk, coconut whipping cream, some brown jasmine rice, right here, brown jasmine rice, pickled cauliflower pickles, pickle okra, kelp, seasoning, everything bagel seasoning, dash seasoning, hemp salt, hemp salt, hemp seeds, and a squash and that is what i have this week um, i'm gonna make some dishes using this and we'll see what happens you kind of want to sit down and i'm gonna insert what i do so you can go on your cell phone and you can basically um take the ingredients put them into google and, and recipes will pop up you can pick your favorite recipe and go from there that's what i do you can also, if you're like me and you're a recipe developer or you're just an uh, extreme foodie and you want to go chop style, like chop the show, you can literally lay your ingredients out and you can go in your head like I just did in my live on TikTok. I said, you kind of, in order to fully immerse yourself into that lifestyle, you have to tell yourself like, this is what the ingredients in the basket, you have X, Y, Z, and you can use some of the items in the pantry. So you can go chop style and do it so that the, your mindset's kind of adjusted to that. And that's what I just did. Like I showed them the, I'll put insert the picture here, but I showed them that I had um, the whole wheat flour. I showed them that I had coconut sugar. I showed them, I had vegan butter too. I showed them that I had, um, what else is here? I have um, the chocolate chips. So I showed them that I had chocolate chips, I showed them that I had the whole wheat flour, I had vegan butter, and I have flaxseed. All of those ingredients are used to make cookies. It's not a regular cookie recipe, but if I wanted a cookie, I could make myself a cookie without having to go spend money and buy vegan cookies, even though I would make them myself anyways. So this video is basically walking through that and if you want to learn how to make recipes or you want to see what I eat in a day while doing the zero waste challenge, I'll let you know. My next video will include what I've eaten in the last two weeks, not going food shopping. Um, so it's just going to be a series of zero wasting. Um, and the, the, the food's going to get a little weird. Like it's not going to be no normal like spaghetti bolognese nah the noodles might not be regular noodles <laughs> they all might be kelp noodles because that's what i have right now i'm cutting out high carb foods because i'm working with a personal trainer um so it's two forms of discipline in one right now um so yeah that's what's going on and i hope this video helps somebody let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see what i've been what i'll be eating or what i've been eating um, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Remember, people's opinions of you have nothing to do with you. That's their business. Um, remember that you are loved regardless of your mental state at the moment. Remember you're appreciated and you're valued. And remember you have the ultimate choice on what you choose to spend your dollar on. 
we forget that we vote with our dollar. We vote with our money all the time. Um, and unfortunately, we've given too much power to the wrong people with our money. So yeah, join me on the Zero Waste Challenge. Um, if you'd like to join me, I'm gonna be creating a guide. Comment down below, guide, or send me a message on Instagram, at Studio Vegan underscore. And I'll see ya. You know, you could you could watch this video.